Hello, my friends. Today we're going to read another one of my favorite books. This one's called What If You Had Animal Teeth by the great and powerful Sandra Markle, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. This is an informational text. You ready? Okay, I think we all are ready. Grab your drinks, soda, water, Gatorade, water preferably, some popcorn, maybe some strawberry Twizzlers, some juju fruits, maybe uh, maybe some nerds. All right, all right, let's go. What if you had animal teeth? By the infamous, powerful Sandra Markle. Oh, this is going to be some serious. So you've lost your your front two teeth. Before you know it, two new ones will push right into their space. But what if it, an animal's teeth grew in instead? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I think I'd be a little bit confused then, right? Wouldn't you? Beaver. A beaver's front teeth are shaped like chisels and are very sharp. They are perfect for biting off bark and cutting down trees. Oh man, look at them beaver. Fun fact, a beaver's front teeth have a coating that contains iron. That makes them super strong and orange. Oh no, man, I'd hate to meet up with a beaver. If you had beaver teeth, your front teeth would never stop growing. So you could gnaw all the tough stuff you like day after day for all of your life. Look at this young boy. He's got beaver teeth. And I think he ate through one of those math books. I don't think your math teacher would be too fond of you doing that. Nope. He chopped right through that math book. Great white shark. Great white sharks. Oh, from the looks of it, them teeth are pretty sharp. A great white shark's front teeth are like all its others. Two inches long with an edge like a street like a steak knife. Whoa. That's sharp. That's sharp. They're great for biting through super thick things like elephant seal skins. Whoa. Man. Fact. Great white sharks get new teeth about every 100 days. That keeps their bite at its sharpest. And they're, they're pretty big predators in the ocean, correct? They need them sharp teeth. Yep. Oh, oh, uh, what's, what's going on there? Let's, let's think for a little bit. Oh, I get it. They, they grow teeth every hundred every hundred days, right? So the little girl in the bed right there, she's putting all her teeth that she lost underneath the pillow for some extra cash from the tooth fairy. That's pretty smart if you ask me. Kind of scary looking girl though with shark teeth, right? If you had great white shark teeth, you never have to worry about losing a tooth. There'd always be a new tooth growing behind it, ready to slide in its place, and there'd never be a gap in your bite. Man. That's very interesting. Narwhal. Narwhal. Narwhal's front teeth do something quite strange. The right one stays small, but the left one grows longer and longer and longer to nearly 10 feet. Huh? Once it's that big, it has a new name. Instead of a tooth, it's called a tusk. Boy, I tell you what, I've never known that a narwhal, that is a tooth that turns into a tusk. A tooth that turns into a tusk. Fun fact, a narwhal's long front tooth grows right through its upper lip. Whoa! Whoa. Right through its lip. That's, man, let me think about that for a second. Hmm. 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 I would not like for a front tooth to grow through my lip. 
Oh, like the young man right here. Look at that. What would you use your tusks for if you were a narwhal? Would you poke around and find fish or fight off your enemies? Or would you feel your way through the dark parts of the ocean? Even scientists wonder what a narwhal does with its tusk. That's a tooth that turned into a tusk. Huh. You know what I'd do? I'd look for some bananas on top of a tree and I'd use my tusk slash tooth going through my lip to get some down from the trees. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. What would you do? Elephant. An elephant's front teeth are called tusk, too. Kind of like the narwhal, right? A male's tusk grow between five and seven inches longer each year of its life. The world record elephant tusk was more than 11 feet long. Whoa, 11 feet long. They're great for digging water holes and pulling up tree roots to munch. Fun fact, elephants are right tusk or left tusk, meaning they use one tusk more than the other. Kind of like humans, they're either right-handed or left-handed, right? So elephants are either right tusk or left tusk. That sounds funny. Right, right tusk, left tusk. Oh, you had elephant tusk as your, as your front teeth. They would be super strong too. You could easily lift and move your bed or even the family car. No one would bully you, not even tigers. Whoa, I guess it pays to have those tusks, right? Especially out in the wild. Elephant tusk. I did not know that. Interesting fact. Oh, uh, Mister, I don't, I don't like rattlesnakes. Whatever. Oh, okay. He says it's only in the book. Oh, don't play with me like that. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mr. Still Mad. Okay, here we go. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake's front teeth are called fangs. They're shaped like hooks and tips are like needles. They Don't play with me, mister. No, no, no. Okay. They're shaped like hooks and their tips are like needles, the fangs, right? They fold up like pocket knife when the snake closes its mouth and snap forward when it opens it wide. Oh, man. Fun fact. They ain't too fun about this to me. When folded back, a rattlesnake's fangs slide inside fleshy covers. That way the needle tips don't nick the inside of the snake's mouth. Well, how convenient for the snake. Ugh. So that means whenever it's getting ready to strike, it opens its mouth and it doesn't hurt itself, but it can sure hurt us. Right, Miss? Man, I, I think we need to change the page. If you had rattlesnake fangs, your front teeth would inject deadly venom. So your teeth would be all you need to fight enemies or to catch food to eat. Oh, man, I don't think I want fangs. Do you? I don't know. Oh, thank you, sir. Naked mole rat. A naked mole rat's front teeth are shaped like shovels and are in front of its lips. They're perfect for digging the family's tunnels without getting a mouthful of dirt. Oh, my goodness. Naked mole rats. They're not the most handsome people in the world, are they? Fact, like beavers, a naked mole rat's front teeth never stop growing. Biting hard roots and bulbs wears, wears the teeth down so they don't get too long. Wow. Man. Them poor naked mole rats. Oh. If you had naked mole rat front teeth, you could move each tooth separately. To the left or to the right, they'd work just like chopsticks for picking up food bite by bite. Wow, that is mega interesting. Oh, my goodness, vampire bat. Be careful with these vampires. A vampire bat front teeth are triangle shaped and, and sharp as razors. 
They're perfect for scooping out a bit of an animal's skin so they can lap up the blood that flows into the wound. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Vampire bat teeth? That doesn't sound too ha happy to me. I don't want no vampire teeth. Fact. Baby vampire bats have teeth, but for the first four months, they aren't strong enough to fly and hunt. So they nurse and they eat vampire bat baby food, which is blood their mothers bring up from the, their stomachs. Who? Who? Oh my goodness gracious. So the baby bats for the first four months. Who? Excuse me, boys and girls. For the first four months, the baby bats eat blood from their mom's muck mouth. Who? Oh my goodness. I don't think I can stomach this. Oh, that's interesting though, but oh. Oh, let me get some water. Okay, okay, I feel much better now. If you had vampire bat front teeth, you wouldn't have to worry about them chipping since they lack a hard enamel coat. The edges would wear away easily and always stay, stay sharp. Okay, let's move on. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. A hippopotamus front teeth are long, strong pegs with very sharp edges. They're powerful weapons, so opening wide to show them off helps hippos scare away their enemies. And the males to win a mate. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. Fact. Because hippos' teeth don't yellow over time, in the past they were made into dentures. So some people used to eat with hippo teeth. Sir. So, should I even ask? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He had hippo teeth. Yep. Including the first president, George Washington. Did you know George Washington had hippo teeth? Huh. Interesting fact. George Washington had hippo teeth. Well, not actually hippo teeth, like big teeth, but he had teeth made from hippo teeth. Oh, man. Interesting. George Washington had teeth made from hippo teeth. If you had hippopotamus front teeth, you'd never need a brush. Your upper teeth would grind against your lower ones, keeping them clean and white. I still don't want hippo teeth. Bengal tiger. My goodness gracious. This just keeps getting better and better. Bengal tiger's front teeth are a biting six-pack. Four sharp pegs edged by twin pointed cones set between its giant dagger-like canines. They're perfect for scraping feathers off birds and meat off bones. Oh, my goodness. Fact, a mother tiger uses her front teeth to bite very gently as she picks up and moves her cubs. Kind of like the cats. Have you ever seen a mama cat pick up a baby cat? Yep, I've seen it from the back of the neck, right? Okay. If you had Bengal tiger front teeth, they'd be strongly anchored in your jaw. You could bite and hold tight while dragging something as heavy as five times your weight. Yep, them teeth look pretty strong to me. It's very strong. Very, very, you're very strong. Oh, man. Oh. Well, I've seen these very much. I've seen these. I've seen these, and I'm kind of scared of these guys. Crocodile. A crocodile's front teeth are all shaped like cones and have sharp tips. They bite well, but come out easily. And new ones grow in very slowly. So a crocodile's front teeth are always changing and are often different sizes. That's because they're always trying to bite everything they see. Fact, crocodiles can't clean their own teeth. They open their mouths for small birds called pl plovers to pick leftover food off their teeth. Plovers? So they just open their mouth like this. And then a bird... Come through and picks at their teeth. They, they sit there like that. And then a bird flies in their mouth called plovers. And they take out their, they clean their teeth. Whoa. Talk about having a, a free dentist whenever you feel like. Oh. Uh. If you had crocodile front teeth, your teeth would stick out when you close your mouth. You would need to open wide when you went to the dentist or give a toothy grin. 
camel, camel, camel. A young camel's front teeth are long, strong, and have very sharp edges. They're just right for nipping off tough, thorny desert plants. Oh man, I got an uncle that looks like that. Fact. Baby camel's front teeth erupt through their gums by the time they're 14 days old. Like you, camels have two sets of teeth. Camels get their adult front teeth when they're about five years old. Wow. That girl has camel teeth. Oh. You had camel front teeth and ate tough stuff eight hours a day, as camels do. By the time you were grown up, your front teeth would be more than stubs. Man, I don't think I'd too be too comfortable with camel teeth. What about you? Would you? Animal teeth could be cool for a while, but you don't use your front teeth to cut down trees or scare off enemies. You don't need them to dig tunnels or bite really tough stuff. And you never lift the family car with your teeth, even for fun. So what kind of front teeth are right for you? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Luckily, you don't have to choose. The teeth that replace those you lost will be people teeth. They'll be what you need to bite apples, carrots, and corn on the cob. Just what you need to help you talk. And best of all, to show off when you smile. That little woman has a very beautiful smile. Yep, yeah you do. Yeah you do. Where do your teeth come from? Or where do teeth come from? Adult teeth start growing inside your jawbone. Soon after you're born, even while your baby teeth are getting ready to push through your gums. Any new growing teeth are called tooth buds. The crown or top of the tooth forms first. Then the roots grow and push the tooth out. When this happens, with an adult tooth, it makes the baby tooth's roots break down. Next, the baby tooth gets loose and falls out. Then the permanent adult tooth moves into its space. Wow. You lost a tooth already? You haven't? Well, guess what? You're probably going to lose it pretty soon. Teeth need care. Besides two front teeth, you'll get 30 more permanent teeth, but you only get one set. And they must last you a whole lot. So brush at least both morning and night. And floss between teeth regularly. Avoid fizzy drinks and sugary foods. You you always drinking fizzy drinks and sugary fruits. I saw you eat two pounds of jelly beans. Yeah, and some soda. Mr. Don't like it when I tell him not to eat. Fizzy drinks and sugary fruits. Those help bacteria grow. Yes, yeah, sir. Those help bacteria grow. It out, uh, Okay. Then bacteria attacks teeth and causes tooth decay. Tooth decay. Dentists and doctors have found there is a strong connection between having healthy teeth and having a healthy body. So taking good care of your teeth can help you grow up feeling like you have something to smile about. <laughs> I saw what they did there. <laughs> Sandra Marco, you're a genius. <laughs> Plus, you'll have a beautiful smile that lasts a lifetime. Okay, boys and girls, this is an AR test too. So if you want to take a test, ask your teacher first, and then read the book if you want one more time, and then hopefully you do fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye now. Rattlesnake.